In a world where we are swamped with images, it's all too easy to have mediocre photographs foisted upon us as examples of great photography, making it difficult for us to see what we should be aspiring to as students in photography. But in this video, I wanted to share with you some of the work of Herb Ritz, one of my favorite photographers, sadly, no longer among us, but he has left an amazing legacy of awe-inspiring fashion editorial and portrait images. As ever, you can look at Herb's images for free using Google Image Search. I'll put a link in the description below the video. Just be aware that some of his photos are definitely not safe for work, but amazing nonetheless. Herb's start in photography is an interesting story. While he was working as a salesman in his mum and dad's furniture store, Herb was hanging around, as you do, with budding actor friend Richard Gere. And when their uh, car had broken down, to pass the time, Herb took some photos. And a few months later, when Gear needed some shots for publicity, after the release of his first film, Ritz gave the shots to Gear's publicist, and those shots ended up in Vogue and Esquire and Mademoiselle. Oh, no, Vogue and Esquire magazine, and then Mademoiselle magazine then asked him to photograph Brooke Shields, and the rest, as they say, is history. With no formal photographic training, Herb Ritz became one of the most sought-after photographers of the 80s and 90s, working with the beautiful and famous, doing fashion, editorial, album covers, and shooting music videos. You know, just do a YouTube search for Madonna's, Madonna's Cherish video and Chris Isaac's Wicked Game video, and you'll see Herb's unmistakable signature style stamped across them. Beyond a Google image search, you can buy several Herb Ritz books or borrow them from your local library. You'll probably have to use their system to track them down and get them shipped in. Um, I've personally got LA Style, but there's also The Golden Hour, Notorious, Men and Women, Africa, and, and a few more as well. So if you really like his work, there's plenty more to digest. What can we learn from Ritz apart from them photographing beautiful subjects is a really good start? Well, you know, I think you've got to develop a vision, a style probably an aesthetic to your photography not that this has to be fixed you know naturally it will evolve over time but if you've got a good idea what you're after before you start that can only lead to good things as long as you're flexible enough to adapt to those wonderful happy mistakes that occurs in any photographic situation herb you know teaches us to get in close to look for the beauty in the composition really think about how the light and how it affects our subjects but most of all i guess is to have a real passion about what we're taking photographs of and what we want to produce sadly herb passed away in 2002 but he'll always be in our hearts and his work will be with us for as long as all the other greats herb ritz a master of his art thanks for watching and please subscribe